Customers always ask me about the role of DNS in cybersecurity. We think of that role sort of as three different personas. Uh, DNS is a facilitator, a hostage, and a weapon. And all three of these roles have different characteristics when it comes to cybersecurity. DNS is the facilitator. You really think of DNS in this case as a naive resolver. DNS is doing its job. DNS is a critical part of how clients connect to services. Uh, first the address is looked up, and then the connection is made. Um, and in, in this case, DNS is simply facilitating connections like it always does, um, but the client might be malware or botnet command and control um, or a link click via phishing. DNS, again, is simply just resolving those resource records. It's naively allowing these threats to, um, to occur. Because it's just standard DNS and DNS as DNS, um, blacklists can be used to block domains that are known to be bad. Um, you know, we, we talk a lot about whitelists, things that we always know to be good. What gets very interesting in this case is the gray list. With all the thousands and thousands of domains that uh, are created on the internet, um, how can we quickly assess if that domain represents risk? If there's a signature there that demonstrates something nefarious is happening. Secondly, DNS is a hostage. In this case, we think of DNS as the naive messenger. The message itself is going through DNS. Communication occurs through DNS, as opposed to simply looking up an address to go to another endpoint. This can be used, for instance, to send arbitrary instructions to an infected client, or it can be used to exfiltrate data. Um, data can be chunked up and delivered via DNS. Um, in this case, again, DNS is doing what it was made to do, um, and, and part of what it was made to do was encapsulate messages and send them across the wire. Finally, DNS is a weapon. Um, DNS has a variety of roles in, in denial of service. Um, it's fairly easy to create a robust and strong denial of a service attack via DNS. Um, and in this case, we think of DNS as a, as a naive producer. It is being used as a weapon and it's being used to attack a third party by taking down their services and causing harm to them. So these three roles, facilitator, hostage, and weapon, um, are all different ways that DNS is, is applicable in cybersecurity. And what's very interesting is how DNS can be used as a solution uh, to detect, to block, um, to look for things that are anomalous on the network. And, uh, and we'll be talking a lot more about that soon.